In this video, we'll get started with ratio and proportion. And the topic of ratio and proportion is huge. So this is just an intro to it. Uh, so it's uh, easier for you to navigate among the clips. In this video, uh, I will bring examples of applications for ratio and proportion because it is huge as well. Uh, before we do that, uh, just a couple of uh, things that uh, you need to have before you get started with ratio and proportion. You have to be familiar with fractions and fraction operations in a broader sense and, uh, and ways to write division and be familiar with formatting and the language of division. You also have to be uh, really productive with uh, reducing fractions to lowest terms. Okay, these are important. You'll see why. Let's get back to the applications. Applications of ratio and proportion is coming... Uh, uh, well, we can get started with math and we can use ratio and proportion on calculating uh, geometric shapes like rectangles or triangles or circles. Where these rectangles, triangles and circles apply is in the trades, calculations with working bevel, working bevel, or uh, roof rafter length calculation, roof rafter length, or stair calculations, metal or wood, circular or winder or straight, it doesn't matter. So uh, those are just uh, some, where the, some areas where the geometric shapes uh, play a huge part and with ratio and proportion uh, you can get a whole lot of calculations done. Another area in sciences is chemistry where molarity calculations and a great many calculations are done using ratio and proportion in physics. Uh, an area of physics where ratio and proportion is used uh, often it involves uh, something that's called uh, mechanics and uh, it involves force, torque, uh, also known as moment, pressure, temperature and the trades where these quantities are used are the HVAC trades and uh, refrigeration and just write ref uh, piping and steam fitting piping trades uh, metal fabrication metal fab boiler making as well so i just write boiler so those are just a couple of examples and these three areas are sciences and applied science where ratio and proportion is used extensively uh, two more areas, uh, one is in the field of finances, finance, we will look at calculations involving labor hours and uh, another one is calculating supplies and materials, supplies and materials and we'll look at a calculation from each of these two kinds of uh, ratio and proportion calculations exist. One of them is called direct ratio and proportion and the other one is called indirect ratio and proportion and we will look at both. Lastly, uh, for ratio and proportion calculations, direct or indirect, for all ratio and proportion you have to have three pieces of given information and uh, with three pieces of given information you can find one piece of requested information that's for all ratio and proportion operations lastly the format in which ratio and proportion will be used is uh, not this format. This also reads one is proportionate to two. However, uh, the format that is used is this format. Both of these 
can be read as 1 is proportional to 2, 1 over 2, or 1 divided by 2. They are both the same. And uh, this is the format that's e exclusively used for ratio and proportion calculations. Okay, so that's for a setup. In the next video, uh, we'll get uh, started with actual calculations.